Hey, this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this fence card with the textured floral bundle. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a fence card today. This is a super cute card that you can easily make with a card base of eight and a half by five and a half and just score it at four and a quarter and fold it in half. And then we're gonna do a little bit of trimming. We are gonna trim the front panel a half inch and we're going to create five of them. So this is a quarter, this is a half. Now we're going to emboss all of these with the timber embossing folder and I'm going to use plate number one and plate number four since this is a 3D embossing folder. Now we have all of our fence pieces. So you're gonna end up with four strips of five and a half by half an inch, and then use one of the strips to be three and a half, and then you'll need two extra three and a half by one inch to create the posts. So for the posts, I'm gonna use the banners pick a punch to create the top of the posts. So I'm just going to insert in my posts and I will get them lined up at the half inch here. And I like to just punch upside down. So I make sure that I am punching the correct amount. Next, I'm just gonna use some grid paper to help me align the fence. So I'm gonna place my uh, fold here actually at four and a quarter. So four and a quarter, and then we know we need to fill up the rest of this space. So then I can try to evenly space these out and I can kind of see where I'm gonna be with each of these. and I'm placing them upside down. And now I can tell it's probably a little more than eighth of an inch that I'm gonna space these. Next, I just have some washi tape and I'm just going to place the washi tape down to hold these in place. All right, so now I have my fence posts. Now I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue and I'm gonna add it in a straight line down this side. Next, we're gonna create a watercolor wash background for the inside of the card. And I'm gonna start by squeezing a bunch of water and just spreading it out all over the watercolor paper. This is the watercolor 100 fluid paper. And I want to do an ombre, so I'm gonna start at the bottom and then keep adding a uh, color lightly as I go up. So I'm just gonna squeeze because um, I want this to be very watery, washy kind of look, and then just go up. And then we'll get uh, a little bit more, make this darker. And I'm squeezing as I brush. Okay, get a little bit more on here. Okay, and we will let that dry. And now I'm gonna do the spritz trick again. So I'm going to ink up the stamp and spritz it with the water spritzer. And then I'll stamp it. And 
now while it's still wet, I'm gonna go in here and see if I can just add a little bit of crushed curry to the Daffodil Delight to get uh, some more shadows and some more contrast in there. And the last bit of watercoloring I'm going to do is just to watercolor these two pieces and then I'm going to use the leaf dies to cut these out. And so the leaves themselves uh, will look watercolored even though they are die cuts. So again, I'm just going to get these all nice and wet. I'm going to grab some of this. I'm going to just kind of drop and let the water kind of do its thing and just kind of fill things in here. And yes, it uses quite a bit of water, but it's great to uh, use a lot of water so you can get that nice watercolory look and get the water to spread spread the color. All right, we can remove the washi tape carefully. And we're going to place this on the inside. But first we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. And this is a little trick that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do thank you using uh, three different stamps from the Biggest Wish stamp set. I'm gonna use the thanks, hello, and happy. And I'm going to stamp thank you instead of thanks. I think it's a little bit more formal. This card feels a little bit more formal to me. It could be casual too. So here's the think part. And you can just use a wipe or whatever you want if any ink gets on the S. So I'm just gonna make sure there's no ink on the S. And I'm gonna stamp up here, think. And then for the Y, I'm gonna use the Y in happy. So I'm just going to ink up this Y. And now I'm gonna use the O in hello. And this is nice because they are all at the end. Makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna line up the O. So I have my U, so Y, O, U. For the U, I'm gonna come back to my happy again and I'm just gonna use the top of the Y. So that one's a little bit trickier. But I just want the top of the Y. So I'm just gonna ink that. It looks like I got the P. And that's what's great about photopolymer stamps is you can see exactly where the ink is and where you are stamping. So looks pretty good, it's not perfect. You can take a marker and kind of touch that up. These are our new markers. They have a bigger uh, brush tip. And so I'm just gonna use that here to kind of fix that and then extend our U down a little bit. Curl it up a little bit and then we'll make this part of the U a little bit stronger. And I think that looks pretty good. And then we can also touch this up too, because that was kind of, there we go. And the last step is just to insert a little sentiment here. 
And there you have your fence card using some watercoloring for the flowers and for the inside. You can receive this card kit for free when you purchase the textured floral bundle or place a $50 order using my current host code. Just email me and let me know that you would like this kit.